Judge in Arizona has now ruled that efforts to get records from an election company, a third party individual and entity that did some performance work on the election is not allowed, right? They are not a public company. It's a private company. And so you don't get to demand that they give you access to their records. This is a little bit of a surprise because this comes after other records were ordered to be disclosed from another election company that was involved in an audit. And so we're going to break this down. This is the case of We the People, Arizona Alliance versus Runbeck Election Services, Inc., which is, as the judge is going to tell us, a private company in Arizona that did some work on a prior election. The judge wrote this. His name is Bradley Ostrowski. He's in the Superior Court, Maricopa County in Arizona. And this is a little troubling because we will have questions about our elections and don't we want to be able to audit them and get access to records? In other words, what did this company, Runbeck Election Services, do? Don't we want to know? Don't we want to see kind of in some of the material, some of the documents? Well, we the people is trying to get access to those records. And here is what the judge said. Now, this is a ruling regarding the defendants, in this case, Runbeck, their motion to dismiss the case. They're saying, you, you don't have access to our stuff at all. So let's get a little bit of background here. On May 8th, we the people filed a verified complaint for a special action to secure access, they want access, to public video records from the defendants. So Runbeck has videos and we the people want to see them. They were involved in an election. Can we see them? Now, we the people requested to be provided any and all video that was recorded between November 8th and November 15th of all the loading dock locations. We want exterior and interior views, which clearly show the delivery or the pickup of any items. Specifically, We the People is interested in one video or any video that depicts the loading and unloading of Maricopa County ballot affidavit packets and other election related materials at the defendant's Runbeck Election Services Warehouse Facility. So a private company, an Inc. incorporated company, has a warehouse here. On June 9th, Runbeck filed a motion to dismiss. They say, hey, we're a private corporation, man. We're not subject to any public records law. And they requested saying the videos are not public records. So you don't get to see anything that we did. Now, also on June 9th, Maricopa County, the defendants, the government, they filed a motion to dismiss as well. They said, yeah, they're a private company. They can do whatever they want. Kind of resembles like what we had with the FBI saying, oh, no, we're not censoring anybody. You can't come and investigate us. It's Facebook that did the censoring, right? The court considered those motions along with We the People's response. And for the reasons stated herein, the court grants Runbeck's motion to dismiss, not getting the records. Now they say the present matter pertains to the 2022 general election and votes concerning the same. He writes, Runbeck is a private company contracted in Maricopa County to perform certain functions concerning ballots for the election. So they're literally touching and you know managing the ballot process. So plaintiff here, We the People, they say in their complaint that Maricopa County used Runbeck's private facility as an extension of Maricopa County's tabulation center, and that is where Maricopa County had Runbeck count the election day affidavit envelopes received. So all of these went over to their warehouse, and they did some work on it. Now, in addition, We the People says that Runbeck assisted also in the collection, the inspection, the counting, the supervision, the administration, and the retention of mail-in drop boxes and provisional ballots, all from 2022. We know that on April 8th, 2023, we the people sent a public records request to Runbeck saying, hey, you worked on the election, which is a public thing. Can we have access to your records, please? Runbeck said, no, I'm not going to show you anything. So they made the same request of Maricopa County. They said, okay, well, let's go through the government then and see if they'll give it to us. Now, pursuant to the law, they say any person may request a public record. And they say, we the people, a nonprofit, they say is a person under the rule. So they, they have the right. In other words, we the people has the right to make their request. Now, the denial of a public records request may be appealed through a special action to a superior court, which is what we're doing now. It is proper to file a special action in order to request the superior court determine whether they needed to give you the records or not. And that's what we're doing here. Accordingly, plaintiff now, we the people, has standing to be here and we're here appropriately. Continuing, the judge writes, both Runbeck and Maricopa County, they request the dismissal of this because they say Runbeck is not subject to Arizona's public records law. It's a private company. But even if it were, the video requested are not public records. And they say accordingly, judge, the both motions that are pending to dismiss are based upon the rules. And they say that there is no claim that we the people can bring that will grant them success here. The narrow question presented is whether they can even prove their case at all. And so the judge is saying, this is how I'm going to analyze it. Here, there is no triable issue of fact as a determination as whether Runbeck is subject to the public records law. They say it's dependent upon its contract 
contracted role with Maricopa County, and that role is defined within the public record. And they tell us, the law says that Arizona public records law imposes a duty upon all officers and, quote, public bodies to preserve and maintain their public records, right? Now they're going to define this for us. An officer, and explain why Runbeck doesn't meet this standard. An officer is any person that's been elected to hold something of any public body. A public body in this state, is it city, town, branch, organization, blah, blah, blah. Political subdivision, all in the law. It is clear and undisputed that Runbeck, the third party, is neither an officer nor a public body because Runbeck is a private corporation. Runbeck in no way qualifies as a public body or officer or those terms as defined under Arizona law. However, Runbeck may still be subject to the public records law if certain conditions related to its relationship with Maricopa County, who are undisputed officers or public bodies, right? They just outsource, right? They're doing work for a public body. So they say maybe, maybe it still covers them. Now, before the general election in 2022, Maricopa County and Runbeck entered a contract where Runbeck agreed to provide various election services to the county. The parties expressly agreed that Runbeck would provide services to Maricopa County under the contract only as an independent contractor, not an employee. Oh no, no, no. We're like a 1099 employee, so we can do whatever we want. You don't control us. The contract specifies the election services that Runbeck provides to Maricopa. They're going to print all the ballots. Runbeck prints all the ballots. The printed ballots contain all the ballot pages that Maricopa County approves. Runbeck also prints and assembles all the early ballots that go out in the mail. An outgoing early ballot includes a carrier envelope, an early ballot, an affidavit envelope, and other things. They then deliver the outgoing early ballot to the postal service for mailing. They're doing a lot. After the voters mail their ballot packets back, Maricopa County retrieves the ballots from the postal service and gives them back over to Runbeck. So they prepare them and send them, and then once they go out and they get voted, they come back and they handle them. Runbeck then conducts an inbound scan of the affidavit envelopes to capture the digital binary image of the voter signatures, and then they place those signature images into an automated system for Maricopa County to use. Then Maricopa County, using the electronic file of the scan signatures, Maricopa then conducts its signature verification, and now while Maricopa verifies the voters' signatures, Runbeck stores the unopened ballot package packets in its facility in a secure, waterproof, fireproof vault, and this eliminates the need to handle the actual physical ballot packets multiple times, right? So they scan everything, and then they just do everything in the scan file. They don't do anything on the actual document. When Maricopa County completes its signature verification, it gives the report over to Runbeck. The report assigns each inbound early packet ballot packet a dispo code, and it says, well, this is a good signature. There is no signature. This is questionable signature. This is, we need a packet, whatever. And then using that report, Runbeck sorts the early ballot packets and it creates smaller physical batches of the packets based on the dispo codes. And they transport the batches of the early ballot packets back to its facility. And then Maricopa County delivers them, picks them up, all sealed, right? All this is from their documents. Now the judge says, once the early ballot packets arrive at Maricopa County, the batch trays are distributed. The affidavit envelopes deemed that were good will then go to bipartisan processing boards and other envelopes will remain sealed and triaged. As Maricopa County counts the votes, then they report its election results. In summary, says the judge, the contract, the 2020 elections plan and exhibit B to the complaint, they establish that Runbeck does the following. They print, assemble, they deliver the outgoing early ballot packets, they scan, they store, and they sort inbound early ballot packets. That's a lot. But nothing exists to suggest that Runbeck does any of the following uses artificial intelligence or any other means to verify voters' signatures, supervises Maricopa County in any of the election processes, administers the election, no, they just basically do all the mechanics of it, inspects any ballots or counts any votes. Plaintiff's unsupported conclusion, meaning we the people, their unsupported conclusions and desire that something be true does not make it true. The clear and unambiguous public record disproves their argument that Runbeck's contracted work performed in the election subjects them to P. RL, the public records law. So the judge is just saying, I don't think that they do enough. Okay. They do a lot. Obviously he just walked us through all of this. Like there's multiple paragraphs here. Like that's a full paragraph of what Runbeck does. This is another full paragraph. That's a lot. Here's another one. That's a lot. And once it all comes, then they find it's, it's a lot. Like they do a lot, but we, the people, they were relying on another case. They said that when cyber ninjas, okay, another private company, cyber ninjas was brought in to analyze other records. Their documents were subject to public records requests. So Cyber Ninjas Incorporated came in. In that case, they say the state contracted with Cyber Ninjas to conduct an audit of the 2.1 million ballots. And so why did Cyber Ninjas, why were they forced to give up their records? They said that this was an audit and the audit
audit would attempt to validate every area of the voting process and ensure the integrity of the vote and audit the registration and other things. And at the end, then Cyber Ninjas would draft a report about its findings. The report would include recommendations and other things. And the judge says, I'm going to distinguish this, okay? In other words, I'm going to let people get access to Cyber Ninjas, which was really an adverse company to Maricopa County defendants. Cyber Ninjas was investigating the election. So they said, we're going to let them attack you and get your records. But Runbeck is not. Runbeck is a friendly, so we're not going to let you get their records. Says, was a subject to Arizona's PRL because the Senate contracted with Cyber Ninjas to perform a legislative function, and they entirely outsourced this to Cyber Ninjas. So Cyber Ninjas was in sole possession of these materials. That's why their records were accessible. But Runbeck, which basically managed the entire election, is not. So the judge is really, in my opinion, kind of twisting himself into a pretzel here. But he says, thus, under Cyber Ninjas, a narrow exception subjects private corporations to public records laws as custodians. So Cyber Ninjas gets the public records law is applicable to them, but not others. This exception only applies in limited circumstances when a public entity contracts with a private corporation to perform important governmental functions and entirely outsources the performance of that function to the corporation. You mean like printing all the ballots, mailing them out, and assembling them for the so-called counting? The corporation is in the sole possession of the public records, just like the ballots, and because of its contract with the public entity. Here, Runbeck did not perform an important governmental function. Really? It accepted ballots and maintained them. It did not count the ballots, verify the signatures, or serve any other substantive function in determining the validity of the ballot or counting of the same. The counting cannot be done without Runbeck and what they've done, right? The determination of the validity of the ballot, you do that because Runbeck scanned it. You count it because they counted them, like they assembled them in a digital file that you can count. But the judge says, no, but there, it's not really a, an important governmental function, even though he spent a full page and a half explaining it. Okay. Furthermore, it's not in sole possession of the documents, as I'm going to explain below, even though it's stored away in their locked, fireproof, waterproof facility. They say here, we the people cannot even establish that Runbeck possesses security camera footage because of the contract. The contract does not require Runbeck to install or maintain any security camera system footage or to retain any security system footage. Now, while the contract states that Runbeck must produce the early ballot packets in a secure and access restricted facility, nothing in the contract directs Runbeck on how to secure its facility or require that Runbeck video record any activities at the facility itself. The parties knew how to negotiate these security methods. So in other words, Maricopa County negotiated some terrible deals with this company that doesn't have any security at all. And because they negotiated a bad deal, we the people is precluded from getting it. Well, we don't have a video because we don't want you to see what we did. Oh, that's great. Well, you don't have, fortunately for you, you didn't have video requirements in your contract, so you can do whatever you want. Those same provisions authorize Maricopa County to provide a security guard. Starting when the early ballots are delivered, Runbeck must accommodate the, quote, security guard and allow the, quote, security guard to access Runbeck's, Runbeck's facility for 24-7 shifts. But the contract simply says nothing about security cameras, because what do they care? Plaintiff also alleges no facts tying the security system and the security camera footage in furtherance of Maricopa County's duties. And they cite no statute that requires Maricopa County or any independent contractor like Runbeck to video record anything. So they don't have to do it. And so as a result, Runbeck and their security camera system and security camera footage does not further any of Maricopa County's duties because they don't want you to see, of course. So it is further ordered dismissing we the people's complaint with prejudice. It's not coming back. It fails to state a claim. And it's further ordered that because Runbeck is the prevailing party, they're entitled to an award. And so they shall submit a cost assessment and then we the people is going to have to pay for their fees, for their costs. Now, no award for attorney's fees as they're not required in this action. Signed off on by a Maricopa County judge called Brad Lee Astrowski saying that, no, it's not an important government function. They basically just ran the whole election in terms of printing the ballots, counting the ballots, storing the ballots, all the things. If you're somebody who wants to, you know, maybe look into it, sorry, it is precluded. They may not even have camera footage in the first place because why would we want to see the evidence of what they've done? Now, we'll continue to cover this election case and many others. Thank you for subscribing to our channel, my friends, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.